white, boys. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought he never won a race, but that's a sad fucking statistic. Keep an eye on the driver's side of Ryan Truex's car. He has radioed a message to Riley Herbst to say, look out my window. I'm going to hand motion you when we're ready to go. Follow that motion. Let's get out in front of everybody else. They're going to flip <laughs> if, they, if they do that. Driver on the inside, when he puts his hand out the window, the only one that can see is the one the guy right behind you. When you're on the outside and you put your hand on the window, the guys in third, fifth, etc., they can also see that movement. This launch is so important, and they all know it. And how aggressive do the side drafts start? So someone's in the catch fence. It's Ryan Truex in the 20. AJ Allmendinger in the 16. They make up that front row. It is overtime. Presented by Credit One Bank. Two laps from Daytona. Green flag overtime racing from the World Center Racing. Who's going to get back to the line first? Who's going to take the white flag? Who's going to win? And why the fuck is that eight car still on the damn track? Stalling, hitting the kidding him so hard he's stalling out the car. Shrek swings outside. Gets in front of the 16 of Almondinger. They're gonna do it. They're gonna make it to the white flag, it looks like. Once they get the white flag, the next flag will end the, flag. the race. Whether the caution or the checkers. White flag, one lap to go, but send my credit one bank. There he goes, and the 16's around. No caution. Oh, caution comes out. Fucking hell. Ryan Truex wins. What a lackluster finish. What a lackluster finish. Ryan Truex. Shout out Ryan Truex. What a what a lackluster ass finish. That was That was fucking a boring ass finish. I'm not even gonna lie. Talking about Tyler Green, the spotter for this race. Hey, uh, okay, me. Alright, uh, ends the race. This is what really? happened to the 16. Watch the 48 car. He gets a that. big push right here. He goes to turn left. Right there. That end of the race. Contact and around goes on and digger. That one car spin. Ended the fucking race. Big push from behind to the really? 48. And I'm not so sure that Parker wanted to be there as much as he was being forced there from behind. And as Parker moves left on the bumper, we've seen you have to push very square. Once you get to the right to the left corner. Not like the big one. Nope, nope, nope. We get one car spinning. Or the car itself just spins and makes it look like he's turning left. It's hard to know exactly if AJ was even in control at that point. Much like you're saying about Parker. Because I think Chandler is pushing Parker really hard. Sting is pushing Chandler. They just all got stacked up. AJ 
But watch them all get stacked up. Look at all the push and shove it. All the way five or six rows back. Buddy, we, we've had cars come back up the track and NASCAR didn't alter the cars on. With cars coming. So, stay consistent, NASCAR. And Ryan Truex about to start his celebration right at the start finish line. <sighs> so dumb. So dumb. But hey, Ryan Truex wins. Toward the crowd goes Ryan Truex. He gets the checkered flag and now returns to the super that took him to victory lane. Kind of parked halfway on the apron, halfway on the banking here. That's actually uh, quite a bit of skill as far as trying to hold in gear right now. Ryan has a 25% win average in 2024. Two for eight now as he's won at Dover. He's run the most famous racetrack in NASCAR. Ryan, what does this mean to you? You've got it done tonight at Daytona. I'm thirsty. You are. Should be. Oh my gosh, man. Thanks to these fans. Uh, it's so amazing to race here. Uh, I was in the Toyota suite earlier, and one of the guys in there, it was his birthday, and he said I would win on his birthday. I told him if I won, I'd shout him out. So shout out to you. I don't know which one he's in, but it's the Toyota suite. Um, just thanks to these guys, man. I don't get to race that often. I don't know what I'm going to do next year. Uh, it's all a work in progress, but just a great car. We've worked hard on our super speedway stuff. Uh, Daytona, Atlanta, I feel like we, we were behind the eight ball, and we came here all qualified well, all raced well. Shout out to Tyler up on the roof. What an amazing spotter. Um, he drove this car. I just turned the steering wheel. So. Thanks to him, uh, Xfinity Internet, everybody at JGR, Toyota, TRD. I can't believe this. I felt good this week coming in, and I knew we'd have a shot, and, and I feel like every time I'm here, I just end up making a dumb mistake or get caught up in a wreck. So I'm just glad we uh, finished one out. How do you stay with it? Because the other drivers, they've had 22 races this year. You've had eight. How do you, and this is precision stuff. How do you do it? Uh, I got to give a lot of credit to the sim group at JGR. Um, I run a lot of sim laps during the week. That's that's my day job, basically, is driving the simulator at TRD. So um, I learned a lot on that. Um, they've taught me a lot. Being able to look at cup guys' data and video and, and what the things they do. Um, I've become a better driver in the past three years with these guys racing less than I ever have just because I've learned so much and just have such great people around me. So um, shout out to all those guys. I hope they're watching. We see him Tuesday at 7 a.m. And credit to Ryan. That information gets passed along to all of his teammates. The Toyotas were fast tonight at Daytona. And Ryan Truex is a winner at the World Center of Racing. Hell yeah, boys. And Parker Clearman will come home just a little bit short. Top five finish, though, for you. When you got out of the car, I saw you slam your fist on the roof. What's the frustration? Take me through that last lap and what you need to do maybe differently. I just feel like I've put myself in position time after time, and this race team has helped me do that. And in this moment, I kind of, I'm going to see the replay here for the first time. I go left, and it just, he tries to come with me. So I hated AJ and I's team. We were awesome. They were the best two that weren't Toyotas all day. And I just had a run, and I had to go, and I felt like it was a run I had to take to try and put myself on the bottom to win this race. I felt like the bottom was going to win it to four. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do there. So... I hate it. I love him like a brother. You know, he and I have uh, been in this for a long time together, and I don't want to turn someone like that. But I would have liked to have been able to finish it on a green as well. You know, we had such a strong spike for Chevy. It's fast, it's the internet. It's just, we did everything right. We never let a lap, but I got to think we were probably the most in the top three. So we had a really strong car, strong night and overall. But I just want to win one of these damn things so bad. Pro 
frustrating, but it, to your point, it was a really good point tonight. You'll leave plus 44. How big is that for the team? I'd like to be able to finish on the green as well. You know, we had such a strong spike for Chevy. The fast for the internet. It just, we did everything right. We never let a lap, but I got to think we were probably the most in the top three. So we had a really strong car, strong night and overall, but I just want to win one of these damn things so bad. Frustrating, but it, to your point, it was a really good point tonight. You'll leave plus 44. How big is that for the team after the penalty incurred earlier in the week? Oh, yeah, it's huge, you know. I mean, this was a big, important night, but it was a big opportunity. You know, last year we came in, the, in a worse position and had a big night. Something about Daytona in the summer I love, but I just... I don't know. None of it feels, feels like it even matters without a win. I just, I gotta win one of these damn races. It's, this is ridiculous at this point. Um, I just want to win. Marty, this night feels bittersweet for Parker Kligerman. We're gonna grab a word with Chandler Smith, but first he's gonna get Ryan Truex a big high five for the win there. Kind of walk us through that last lap, and, and you were pushing Parker when the 16 made the move on him. Yeah, I was getting pushed from behind, just trying to time my run precisely to where I could time it right, still had enough forward momentum to poke bottom, and then it looked like the 16 started going to the bottom, and um, it just was all bad pushes at that same time. I was getting pushed from out back. Uh, there wasn't much I could do. I was already squirming, so just extremely, extremely happy for everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing. I say this in a very nice way. We have not been good on super speedways for a very, very, very long time on the Xfinity program. And um, we went to Indy, was solid, uh, had our break, went to Michigan, and was firing all on, on all cylinders, and then we came here today and sat on the pole. That, that's huge for us, and now that we're sitting in victory lane, just a huge statement to all the men and women back at the shop. So just really, really fast, number 81, quick side prize, GR Super, the fastest x day internet today. Just couldn't time my run, my run good enough, and just wasn't meant in the cards for today. He mentioned the turnaround for Joe Gibbs Racing. Ryan Truex mentioned it as well, but JGR, Clearly showed up here in Daytona, Dave. Jordan Anderson showed up twice at Daytona this year. Man, sick today after a great run in February as well. How good does this feel? Yeah, I'll take it. You know, to finish fourth here in February, to come here six now, uh, I, I don't get to do this much, you know? I'm sitting on the pit box every week watching Jeff and Parker, and, you know, you guys at home, when I get a chance to do this, you got to make the most of it. So we had Volpe Foods jump on board. They're sponsoring me here in Talladega. These are my only two races I got left this year. Had Larry Mack back on the box, so... What a phenomenal night, you know, to come out of here. The, they told me if you bring the car back clean, you can run Talladega. So I think other than maybe a few scratches, we're, we're clean. So, uh, but what a night. Had a lot of fun. A crazy race. I was really hoping, I saw whoever it was front of the inside. I was like, man, please let us get back to checker because you never know what could happen at three and four. And we were like in a perfect spot to maybe jump the middle or go through there. But our entire team did a, a great job building a fast car. And it, it was good all night. I could go wherever I wanted to. And, uh, I think Jeff and Parker got caught up there earlier in the night. But, uh, what a fun night. I mean, you, you see, we got a sea of blue behind us, a bolt here, a lot of people here tonight. So it means a lot for them to be here to support me. And all you fans at home, uh, I'm excited. Maybe I can do a little more of this, you know, to, to get two top tens here uh, at Daytona. I love this place. I, I remember when I first came here with my dad when I was six, when the dog track was here, we camped out in the back of the Tahoe and, and made a weekend out of it. So anytime you come here, it's uh, the history of the sport and everything here is just phenomenal. And appreciate all the fans that stuck to all the weather this weekend. And, Hope you guys at home like that, because that was a, a pretty crazy race, wasn't it? We did like it. We look forward to seeing Jordan Anderson at Talladega. The owner wins in one of his cars. Yeah, wins. I, it's like a win, Kim, six in one of his cars tonight. Well, for the Dumbass. second straight week, Ryan Sieg and his team have a very solid night. Fifth place finish here. What have you guys been building that we've seen this uptick in performance recently? Yeah, no, we've just been chasing points. We've been doing a, a, executing stages one and two in the past few races. Uh, and stage three, we kind of fell off. It would have been a whole lot more ahead of the eight um, with those other races, but you know what I mean, it's been it's been great, we've been doing what we need to do, and then come out of here with a top five where we should be running, um, but finally we've got the momentum, hopefully we can continue, and we've been, have, we've been running really well, just got to keep executing and uh, keep it there at the stage three and try to, I guess, point our way in, and, and you know what I mean, just do all we can do and try to win one of these races out of here out of the, before we start the playoffs, but uh, all in all, great night for our Cyops board. And maybe the most important part of the night, Marty, they hopscotch over that elimination line, now sit in that final playoff position. I'm not sure where to start with this night for Riley Herbst. It's been on pit road when Cole Custer made contact with you and then the drive back through the field in stage two. How would you describe this evening? Yeah, it was kind of like our season so far. Marty is up and down. Uh, he's, I'm really proud of everybody on the 98 team. Um, we just weren't that good. Um, first stage, second stage, we got it better, and we had that incident on pit road that 
actually said, and third stage, I thought we were going to have a shot at it, but we still just were a little too bound up, too tight in the center, and um, we need a little bit more pace here on these play tracks, so hopefully we'll go to work after Ross Racing and get ready for Talladega in the playoffs, but I'm looking forward to these next few